Well, hello and welcome to round two of the Down Under R Factor 2 Super 2 V8 Supercar Series. And uh, we are at Barbagallo currently. It's my self, Cameron Costa, hosting the commentary and the stream tonight. And uh, we will welcome the rest of the commentators tonight and uh, they are of course River and we have Termo I believe will be in the safety car. Good day. evening boys. Hello. Howdy. It's a interesting night tonight. We've had a little change of mod and um, obviously we get to see everyone's custom liveries that they've got so far and I must say a few of the cars are looking pretty good. Yeah, definitely. Thanks to um, Tomo on that, he's put a few good ones together. Pretty, pretty skillful in the skinning department, aren't you, Tomo? Definitely. No. <laughs> <laughs> a bit modest. <laughs> well, we'll quickly take a look at the Super Two standings heading into this round, and uh, of course, they are on the screen and uh, Damien Carter leads the championship after round one and he has 289 points and Gary Neville won the first race of course and uh, he'll be looking to back that up he's currently not in at the moment so I'm wondering if he will be showing up tonight but uh, Merv is second, and he's only 22 points behind. And uh, Gary, of course, third. Justin Bryce, who showed plenty of pace, but just didn't quite get the job done. He's in fourth. Chris Finlayson is fifth. And um, he will be looking to continue his good outing after finishing in the top five. And then, of course, we've got a few other guys on the list who haven't um, quite raced yet. So we'll be looking forward to their, those guys turning up tonight. 50 seconds left in this practice, and we'll head into qualifying very shortly. Fastest lap at the moment is a 52.8. As we have yellows in the first sector, and that was Chris. It's getting a bit wide at the exit of turn or in the middle of turn four I believe that is second quickest is a 53.5 by Paul Finlayson we have Damo Damon Carter in third at the moment 53.6 overproof of course our very own Rich with a 54.5 Chris Finlayson 54.5 as well, and they're split by three hundredths of a second. Yulby has a 54.7, and of course, the safety car sitting in the pit lane, and he is uh, not <laughs> going to be taking part in the racing, unfortunately. But no lights in the safety car tonight, Termo. No. no. <laughs> oh, a bit disappointing there, mate. Need to work out something how to do that. I'm sure we will. Get Unless someone on. knows how to get a drivable safety car. Mm. I think the FVR guys are working on their VF Commodore, making it drivable. Unless we get the uh, one, the one, the the one that runs the server to use another mod, and it's actually got lights. Oh yeah, yeah, that's that is the FVR yeah. one, isn't it? No. Are you talking about the Three. the Corvette one, the 397? No, no. 350. Oh, right. Oh, we'll have to look into that for the coming one. Yes. Qualifying has started, and we don't have anyone leaving the pits just as yet as we overlook this very tight, twisty, and technical Barbagallo circuit. And, uh, sorry, Curtis. Let's 
six, six turns, I believe. Seven. Seven turns, and it is 2.45 kilometres in length. And uh, very abrasive tarmac, very hard on tyres. Of course, for those that don't know, the sand from the gravel traps, gravel traps ends up making its way onto the circuit that gets in embedded into the uh, route on the circuit. You know, the tarmac and the, the stones and everything, and uh, that wears away at the tyres. Few of the drivers coming out now. We've got Yulby and uh, Overproof. Uh, they're they're all going at once. We we had it set up so one would go, the other one. But I don't think they saw listened. Yes, qualifying is meant to be a one lap dash. So someone hasn't followed instructions once again. <laughs> But uh, we will get over that in due course. I think we've just restarted the qualifying, did we? We will see what happens here. Again, these guys should be running in reverse order. You'll be starting his lap now through turn one. Over the hill to turn four. Nice and under control. We'll hit that first set time very shortly. Say 21.8 the first sector, down into the bowl, balance the car, a little bit of a slide there, possibly lock brake, it's coming up to the final corner, Corner goes a bit cautious there. It was a 16 3 in the middle sector and a 55 1 is the overall time there. Possibly see these times get quicker. Okay, Chris. Yeah, as the, as the uh, rubber starts to lay down, times will become a lot quicker. So the next car out should be, if we have a look, I'll pull this out, and you'll be... Ah, uh, we've got Chris fin Finlayson, he's coming out. Chris Finlayson is coming out. Of course, you'll be his Merv, so he's set down that marker. It of course, very short track, so not a lot of opportunity to get the tyres and brakes and everything up to temperature. But uh, I'm sure he will manage that. We'll go on board. Down into turn one. Managing the throttle, flipping a bit of stone over steer on the exit. Very nicely done. Up over the rise to turn four. The cautious here. Trying to hug the inside. Open up turn five. That's a 22 1, slightly slower. Or 22 2, I should say. Into the bowl. Coming out up the hill. Out of the final corner is a 16-2 in the middle sector. Ooh, 
we'll go and second. he's second on a 55-2. Only six hundredths of a second away from Merv. So good lap time by Merv straight out. Yeah, it's looking hard to beat at this stage. Rich is the next driver out on track in the, what I must say is a rather fetching New South Wales police <laughs> highway patrol livery. <laughs> He's done a very good job of that. He has, it's definitely something way different. Plenty of time left to get everyone's lap times in. The lap record of Barbie ironically, is a 52-2. I don't think that's been updated because uh, it was in a lull at T88-50 back in uh. 2005. And I think uh, that was broken this year by Scott McLaughlin. It would have been, yeah, in that must have. As we head into the last corner, Rich will start his lap. Find the hamburger cam. Turn one. Oh, bounce the curb. That'll cost him time. Just grab one of the inside curbs. He's having a crack. A bit wide at turn four, but it is only qualifying. You can use the tie. A bit cautious through five to the top of the hill. He made the entry a bit shallow. Down a cob corner for the bowl. Cautious on the turn in. Down and get out. Now the last corner. Just on the fastest first sector, he's green in the middle. He oh, goes to the top, top on a 55-0. Found oh, the Seven hundredths on Merv. A very good lap there by Rich. He pulled it together in the last two. And uh, a very good lap there. Uh, I think if he if he didn't grab the inside curb at the uh, first corner there, he probably would have been on for a 54. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Probably mid 54s as well, because yeah, he lost a little bit of time. That's part. Indeed, he did. So the next car out on track is Damon, I believe. He's on his lap here. Nicely through turn four and five, a bit wide, but right out to the edge. And it's quick to 21.8. Matching the... Oh, he's actually quick up to 21.1, I should say. Second sector is a 16.1. This is going to be a 54, possibly even quicker. Into the last corner. Very nicely out. And what's it going to be across the line? 53.8! 1.2 seconds quicker. He has blitzed them. Perfect lap. No mistakes. And that is the lap to beat. Uh, we have Paul. He's, he's out. He's on his warm up. Nice, short and sweet qualifying session. That's what we love about shootouts. They can make or break your race. Probably not so much here in this small grid tonight. But into turn one he goes. Bit tentative. Straightened the car before he turned in. Made it around there safely though. Over the hill. Nicely through four. Good exit. Opens up five. You carry a lot more speed. It's a 21 4. It's slightly down. Into Cobb Corner, into the bowl. Okay, Justin, you can go. 
He's on a... On for a good lap here. It's 15-5 in the middle sector. He's nailed Cobb Corner. Turn 7 and the final onto the straight. Needs a clean exit a little bit wide. Uses the curb. Down to the line, what's it gonna be? Oh. 53 5. Finds oh, over three and a half tenths on Damo. Damien Carter, very good lap. Yeah, it was a pretty solid lap, that one. So the car was pretty stable. Yeah, just, just shows if you, you don't have to be quick in the first sector to, to do a, a purple lap, and uh, that's a very good job. So the next driver will be Justin Bryce, third in the championship, into turn one, what can he do, a little bit wide in the exit of turn one, but he's managed it well. Nice and smooth over the hill. Through turn five, it's 21-1. He's the closest to Damo in the first sector. A little bit wide through Cobb, but he's opening up the exit. It might cost him a little bit of time. Over the hill and down into the braking, uphill braking zone of turn seven. A 15-6 in the middle sector. He is flying too much curb. Oh, he saved. What a great save. That's going to cost him time, though. And he's only gone third. 54-3. Well, he was on for pole there. He was on for pole. We'll have to change his pants after that one, I think. He did a 21-1 in... Sorry, he did a 21-1-8 in the first sector. The closest anyone's ever been to Damo. 15-6 in the middle sector. Which isn't isn't the quickest, but uh, it is close. And then uh, seventeen five in the last, and just using too much curb, and uh, unfortunately let him down. So Paul Finlayson, I believe, it's his first or second time out. He's got pole. Yeah, pretty sure he got pole in the. Uh was it the first race? No, oh, no, he wasn't. He wasn't there at Oran Park. It's his, this is his no. first first race, and he's turned up and grabbed pole. Really yeah. good job. Well, yeah, he's on the on the speed straight up on the pace. Indeed, he is. I was going to note there that uh, little Top Gear anagram there. It's uh, the Finlayson brother, uh, Finlayson. Boys are occupying the most important parts of the grid, which is first and last. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so a very good job by <coughs> all of the guys. Two, uh, two Fords and four Holdens. And uh, we'll head into the race very shortly. Wrap up that. We would have had uh, Justin on pole to eight tenths away. So the grid is separated by 1.7 seconds. That's from front to back. And, uh, yeah, very good. Very good um, grouping of times there. Top two split by th just over three and a half tenths. Further point eight from first back to third and uh, Rich could have had a 54 and that would have helped it would have looked a bit better on the timings but uh, uh, 55 zero it was 1.5 seconds away from the quickest time so the warm up session Just just uh, give us a bit of detail on the race laps here, River, because we've had a little bit of a change in the format. Yeah, we're going to race um, two two fifteen laps. Um, and it's going to be a reverse um, grid on the 
um, the second race. So a little bit of a change up, of course. We're still keeping the reverse grid, but uh, the race distance is a bit longer. So if we do have a safety car, it'll probably be um, a bit more beneficial. We'll probably see a bit more racing as such. So the boys come out for their warm-up demo, just practicing his starts there. And uh, I think this should, this should be a very good race here. It's a small circuit. It's very, very uh, congested at times and uh, a bit different to Oran Park where there's a few more turns. Uh, this one should be quite uh, quite easy for the guys to stay together and it's, it is easy to make a mistake around here. So... Uh, Chris doing a bit of a donut down at Cobb Corner. We will have a look at another one. Interesting to see what these guys do in terms of uh, race strategy, race setup. Of course, not uh, as long a race as the main game series we have it down under, and uh, it um, yeah, normally forty-minute races with the. Um Main group, but that's all going to change next season. We're going to have a different format. Um, it'll be a pers like similar to the real races, but just a little bit shorter. Yeah, and it'll be two races in the main game next season as well. well. That will be very, very interesting, I'm sure, and uh, should probably provide a bit more strategy. The boys are rolling around here on track. Seven, m under seven minutes left in the session. Merv has another little off track. A few of the drivers are practicing their race starts. And uh, we will see what uh, occurs from this. Someone in the background there, I believe that is Chris. It is Chris Finlayson, just running a bit wide out of the last corner. We've got this overhead shot of the entry to turn one. Uh, quite good, I must say. Merv running a bit wide there as well. Um, we could be starting a bit earlier. Um, well, there's five minutes yeah. left before everyone. Starting a little bit earlier, I think that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Paul puts in a 53.9 there. You could put um, a very nice lap for a warm up. That way I can forward it. Looks like Damo's smoking. He might want to change that for the race. Um, he might have not much tape on his. Uh, probably too much. Too, too much tape. Too yeah. much tape, and it's overheating the engine. That's right. And um, 15 lap race, that, that could blow by the end of that. It uh, definitely could. You don't want that at all. Of course, plenty of 
sport on this weekend. Uh, the Ashes are currently running. We've got uh, Hungarian Grand Prix as well this weekend. And it's a very busy weekend in the world of sport. Yeah, the old multi um, sports bet will be getting the work out, I dare say, this week. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh what do you what do you normally put on, River? Do you go you go to the horses uh, or Yeah, I do a little bit of horses, not much. Melbourne Cup I normally do that. But um I think oh I think yeah. everyone has a little flutter on the <laughs> cup, don't they? That's right. You're not Australian if you don't. Um, <laughs> oh, there we go. But yeah, Des I do love me NRO multis. They definitely are. So, we have, of course, race start. Slides up, and away we go. Paul's got a great start over Damo. Into the first corner, they go. He's got away nice. from pole very nicely. Nice and clean start by all the boys. Indeed. 15 laps will go past pretty quickly indeed. They're all single file. Uh, Justin's got himself up into third. Not too far behind is Chris and Damio, and uh, behind him is uh, Rich. He's got a nice little gap here. He's pulled out a second already on the first lap, so Paul is on it tonight. Well, Bryce and Damo just had a little bit of a rub. Uh, Bryce went wide. Side by side, and he's got the position. I wonder if that will... Come up for some scrutiny in race. He had all left side tyres locked there. <laughs> Pricey into turn one. Safely through. And just out of note, the Aussies have got a wicket. Ah, oh, nice. Good awesome. to good to see. We'll get back to the action here. <laughs> Damo's run wide, he's out in the weeds at the exit of Cobb Corner. He's lost a few positions there. Yeah, it's formed a bit of a train. Oh, overproof takes them on the outside. Rich with a nice overtake. Merv looking as well. Rich very deep into the first corner, the last corner. Using the uh, return road behind the kerb. Got Chris Finlay at the back of the grid. I think he might have had a little off, possibly somewhere as well. Last lap was a 53 3 from uh, the leader, Paul Finlayson. And he is charging away a two second gap over Justin here. We've got Yellows in sector one. Well, Richard just uh, went a little bit wide and let um, Merv through. And yeah. Amos... Not too sure how that that might be possible because of the safety car sitting in the pit lane. Okay, back to front of the grid. Justin is trying to catch up to the SP Tools Commodore. Putting in a solid effort, keeping the gap very maintained. Runs a bit wide, Cobb Corner though, just locked the front left. That closes the gap half a second. Go on board, Hamburger Cam with Bryce into the last corner. Very conservative. He's gaining.
keep him honest, that's for sure. It's down to a second now. Have a quick look back through the field here. Merv is occupying third position. He's doing a very good job. Behind him, of course, is uh, Damien Carter. Little off, and uh, he's trying to force his way back up to the top three. And uh, behind him, Rich is keeping a watching brief there. And uh, we've got Chris slowly catching up, but he's still some way off the leaders. Back to this lead, speaking Ooh. of, and these two are very close together. It's under half a second. And heading into turn four. It's very close together. Yeah, Bryce's team's a bit more relaxed at the moment. Chasing. It's easier to chase than uh, defend. And uh, putting the pressure on for the lead. Goes defensive. Does Paul in the last corner. Bryce went wide. Paul's into the pits. I wonder. Well, there's no mandatory pit stop in this race. So I wonder if it's tyre wear. Or maybe not enough fuel. Interesting to see what happens here. He will drop quite a way down the field. Uh, no, no mandatory tonight, guys. So, they all move up one position. We've got... Rice in the lead, the triple zero car donuts on the window. And, uh, he's got a very comfortable gap here of uh, 10 seconds. got to do is just control the pace with a 54-5 last lap. Back to second here. Merv is being watched very closely by Damo. And, uh, these two will keep themselves very busy. Just a second between them. Which is back in fourth. And um, run straight off the road the exit of turn five. I was thinking it might have been a possible lag, but he has. He's gone straight off and into the wall on the outside, so not very good. Curb can, great shot at the cob corner in the bowl. Of course, Paul and Lace, and we've lost. We haven't lost it. Chris is up to fourth. Paul Finlayson is last. And, uh, of course, that is because he had a pit stop. And he locks up in the last corner, and he's rolled! Unbelievable! He's rolled at the final corner. He's put it on the roof. Somehow got it over. wonder how that's happened. It just went in. And it didn't look like it was going to go over, and then, oh, over she went. So the pole sitter's not having a good race here at all. Bit of a lock up on the outside front left, and of course the leader is not too close. Well, not, I should say, not too far behind. They're going to uh, possibly, Chris or Paul is going to be lapped. So not what we want to see. Of course, very small circuit here. We uh, we uh, can see 
everyone around. Maybe it's a bit of a strategy play, River. Maybe he's going for the pit stop to uh, put himself at the front of the grid for the next race. Yeah, well, that's true too. He could have been doing that. Or he might have started on super, uh, the, the softs and chose to go with the super softs as well. Could have also forgot to put enough fuel in. Yeah, exactly. Well. So he might have loaded, up his, um, loaded his tune up from Quali maybe and he was a bit low on the fuel. We'll have to watch and see, but Justin has got a 13 second gap and it is getting ever bigger because look at this into turn one Damo down the inside with a nice move that is a second position these him. guys have some serious battles in the um couple the first couple of races as well yes races one and two at Oran Park Verve uh -huh. hasn't dropped away he's still 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 there Keeping him honest. Pretty much the only little battle we've got on track. Go back. Chris is holding a very good fourth. Solid drive from him. Rich is not too far behind. Trying to catch back up. Of course. Paul in last position. Nearly a full minute behind. Justin's pretty happy at the moment. 15 and a half second lead. And uh, he's quite comfortable where he is. We'll go back to this battle for second. It's still on. Merv's keeping him honest. He's not letting him get away. And Cobb corner. Merv trying Pair now, running a little bit wide. Go on board. On hamburger cam. At the moment, Damo's not looking in his mirrors. Oh, a bit wide. A bit wide. Oh, Merv's got a good run there. <laughs> yeah, he's wide on the exit from Damo. Carried a bit too much speed into the last corner. And uh, Merv didn't hesitate. This is on. We've got uh, two laps remaining. A little mistake there, and Damien has to do all the work again. Oh, he's, oh. Deep under yeah. brakes. Nearly drilled yeah. the rear end of Merv, but Merv has just grabbed the brake through the middle of the corner. This is going to be close. Go on board with Damien in the last corner. Locks breaks from Merv. He has a look. Merv's hold, held him out. And Merv into the pits. Well, are we maybe seeing them being too aggressive on the setups and uh, using too much of the tyre? Could be, yeah. Very abrasive circuit. So Damo keeps second now for good. This is going to cost Merv. He's going to drop a few positions here. And Chris Finlayson from the back of the grid is going to get himself a podium by the looks of it. To keep it on the straight and narrow, he takes that third position. And Rich moves up to fourth. Paul has fifth now. Merv has uh, gone a lap down, unfortunately. Great for him, and he's just leaving the pits now. The leader is on lap 15. And, uh... Be coming down into the final corner. Didn't get pole, but uh, he's showing what a force he is here in the Super 2 category. Nice entry and exit there out of Cobb Corner looking after the tyres, and he's on the yellow banded, so he must be on the softs, and the others are on the super softs. Yeah, I think so, yeah. So a bit of a, a, a strategy play here, and it's worked out well for him. Into the final corner, and to cross the finish line, and he has...
has won the race, but uh, I think we've got a little bit of a thing with the server if it's got one minute left of race time, so we might have a few more laps here. Yeah, yeah. Justin um, runs off the road, it's not great. Yeah, I think they give you one extra lap if you haven't crossed time, so... Still says the race is running. It's not uh, check and flag. So, ah, uh, they've done minutes. It's fourteen minutes or fifteen minutes down the bottom of my screen. Mm, instead yeah, of being laps. Yeah. Yes, that's that's right. So, continue as it is. Merv, unfortunately, a lap down. Justin's just trying to get to the finish. Runs a bit wide at the last corner, but he's got this race. Swell sewn up. He's just cruised. Yep. Yep. He's got a 16 second lead. So back through the field, and Damien is petting now. Oh, that's strange. So, not quite optimising the strategy. And I must say, he's used the long entry off down the hill. Very safe entry, that. So, he's done a very good job there. Good choice. And uh, Rich has actually got past Paul, I should say. Is it? Oh, yep, Paul's got past. Too. Paul's got past uh, Chris. And uh, well, we're in a bit of a, a bit of yeah, a mix Richard's here. In, Richard's into the second uh, second. I wonder if. Uh, Chris is just struggling. Maybe he's running out of fuel. I'm not too sure. He's trying to get to the line. Justin's letting him finish. Rich is going to get. He's dropped to third. Paul's got past him. Uh, oh, Paul, yeah, he's definitely. Uh, Chris has ran out of fuel. Rich is going very slow as well. Possibly run out of fuel. Yeah. And Paul now. Well. Wow. Wow. I think they've um, might have put 15 laps of fuel in it. A little bit of a server issue there, though. The session is over, though. It has been declared. And uh, the results, I'm sure, will be sorted out and uh, fixed up. We will note those. The leaders end up doing 18 laps, so I don't think that's where Merv will finish in second. I think that will be adjusted, and uh, we shall see a proper finish. And, uh, Dame has actually DNF there, but I don't think that's correct. We've got the safety car going to be pushing cars back to the pits. We've got Rich unable to get through the last corner because he's uh, run out of fuel. So a bit of a drama here. Paul has rolled out of the last corner. And uh, is now heading for the pits. Well, eventful race here. I suspect the race results will be something like uh, Justin first. We'll probably have Damien in second, and um, probably Chris in third as the race went over the laps. I'm not too sure what is going to happen here. 
Um, yeah, a lot of the guys um, set up for a 15 lap race, and uh, it was a 15 minute race, so they were, you know, a couple of laps short on like the fuel. Unfortunately, not uh, not the greatest thing to happen. But, uh, what we'll do, I think, is we'll just take a little break and uh, we'll come back when we know some more.
And welcome back to the Down Under Series Dunlop Super 2 Championship here live from Barbagello. And uh, we've just had a little break. We've sorted out everything that's happening. And I believe we're going to do a random grid now for the second race, which will throw a spanner in the works. Interesting to see uh, what happens here. <laughs> here we go. Got a grid start. Get those lights to come on. We look at the lovely Barbagallo circuit. It's lights out and away we go. And Merv's got a great start. Splits the front grid, which is Justin and Rich. And Justin muscles his way back down the inside. Chris is the big winner. Gets around the outside. There's contact between Paul and Merv. And Merv has gone round. Safety car, I think. And uh, I think we'll get a safety car call here. Not too sure what's going to happen. Heading down into the cob, cob corner bowl. Great shot from the curves. I head through there on lap one. No one will spawn with the safety car, so there's no safety car. No right. safety no car. Worries. Is called we are free to race. Chris has got a fantastic start. Blitz them all. Too much curb out of the last corner though. Justin's hunting him down. Looking around the outside, he's gonna send it. Not enough. There he's going for the switch back, the over under. Up over the hill, nothing doing for them there. Over the top through turn five. And down the hill we go. Oh, Richard's hit the tyre bundle. I heard uh, a noise. I heard noise. And uh, he's lost the front splitter on that. Not Great for Rich. Uh, down deep in the sand. He's lost the front split. He'll have to come in and get that changed. Back to yeah. the front. Under braking, it looks a bit wobbly. He might have done a steering arms or something. Chris and Justin going hammer and tong. Not letting up here at all. Justin, of course, the winner from race one. Wants to make it two from two and possibly vault himself up into the championship lead. He's not that far behind. Chris doing a good job. Just locked the brake on the left-hand side. Poor exit. That's going to open it up for Justin. The onboard cam on the inside. Car is looking. There's a, there's a gap. Chris leaves a gap and he's just going to shove it in there. Done, Just put it oh. in there. Oh, Chris had a moment trying to get back onto the track. Unfortunately. Oh, and locked the rears as well on turning. Wow. He is trying. It's very close battle here as well. We've got Damo and Paul fighting out for third. Chris is still locking a few brakes. Damo holding down a solid position. So Justin Bryce leads the way. Nicely into the last corner. 
Chris is in second. Running a little bit wide and off the curb. A massive moment, massive slide. Damo's going to have a look down the inside. He's not quite close enough, but that number 22 HRT Commodore is wiggling all over the place. Paul behind has the lights on, so... Runs a bit wide again, just grabbing brakes. Left, right, and centre. Damo is all over him. Oh, he's got to run here, I think. He's back in the hole. Oh, oh, he's lost it. He's lost it. He's gone. And a oh. contact between the Finlaysons. Oh, that won't be good in the household tonight. <laughs> Not indeed. He just got out of shape. And uh, it was costly. Merv's going to oh, have him for yeah. breakfast as well. Down the last one, he's going to defend. He's going to oh, do the switch the back. Let's switch back the over under, and I think that's job done. Chris has gone from second to last. Nearly. Oh, lock break again. He's struggling. Might have overcooked them tyres, I think. Yeah, if you do overcook the super softs, it uh, doesn't. They don't go too well. Four, just under four and a half seconds from first to second position here. We've got Justin out in the lead once again, controlling the race. He's on the yellow stripe soft tyres. So he knows what his strategy is here. And a few of the other guys are running on the white walled super softs. You see, the pole sitter from race at one, Paul Finlayson is keeping him quite honest, I must say. Fastest lap of the race is a 53.7 from uh, Justin. Yeah, that's a big improvement from the qualities and the practice. The track, Three seconds. The track continues to rubber in, though, as well. Exactly right. Yeah, Don't it's forget. Quicker. Paul keeping it Damo honest. Sliding out of Cobb. It's not what you need. He wants smooth exits. I think Justin's brained them all here with his strategy and tie selection. He's really got himself organised and he's running a different tie so he can make it through the end. It might be a bit slower, but if he gets out in front he can just control his pace. Everyone else is battling. Having instance, Paul locking a front left again on the turn. In the middle of turn one. Move back in fourth, doing a very solid job once again. Back to these two up here. Nothing splitting them. Back to the lead, of course, Justin right out in front. Nearly six seconds is the lead. And Chris, unfortunately, running at the back. Oh, we've got a change for a second. Um, Paul's just overtaken Damo. Run wide by looks for it out of the last corner. Again, that, he's done, he did that in race one as well. Yeah, he did, yes. Nice tight line through turn one. Nice and close, getting on the power. The Finlayson's locking brakes quite a fair bit. These two races. I just want to take their brake pressures down a, a touch. Oh, Paul. Massive moment. In the middle of Cobb, just on the turn in. Looks like a bit of compression lock too under brakes, isn't it? It seems to be getting a bit wobbly. Yeah, it's interesting. Watch the cars. You watch them going down the hill to Cobb as well. There's a little bit of air. You notice the the cars floating, floating yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Damo keeping Paul honest here. The closest gap we've got. It's half a second. Eight 
and a half seconds out to the leader. Fastest lap's just been lowered. It's 53.6 by Justin Bryce. Merv holding down a solid fourth. And Rich in fifth after his early incident. Chris not too far behind. He's closing the gap. But um, whilst it could be a little bit better. And back to the front. He's not doing massively quick lap times either, Justin. He's doing 54s. Well, someone's just got a disconnection, I think. What have we got here? Oh, everyone's still here. Yeah, okay. I just might have sort of... Might have heard something. Might have been a little bit of server lag, possibly. There was a bit of a... Bit of jumping around. Yeah. Looks like we've got Paul going into... Oh, no. He's <laughs> ran pretty wide. Into the old pit lane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A few of the drivers having issues trying to carry the speed and not run wide, but he's run wide, Paul. It's allowed Damo up the inside. And he's got second place back. I actually did that in the main game last year. Pulled up pits. <laughs> it wasn't too good. Race was over. Oh, yeah. Chris, I believe, is getting blue flags now. No, he's off the track down at Cobbs. He's been, uh, he's been lapped. We got Chris out in the, um, on the beach. Paul and Chris were out there. I wonder what happened there. Unfortunate little incident this has dropped him right off the back of Damien Carter. Chris has got the blue flag, so he needs to just move out of the way, and he moves off the inside of the apex. Unfortunate. So Justin keeps his lead 10 seconds, it is. And uh, he's driven superbly. Weekend, he, he probably would have got pole if not for that mistake, and uh, he's keeping everything honest and in order, and everything going to plan so far. Yes, our safety car drivers had a pretty good weekend. Pretty, pretty, pretty quiet uh, race for the Terminator. Might be having a little nap in the um, safety car. Probably, probably is. I wouldn't be surprised, knowing, <laughs> knowing, knowing Curtis. <laughs> <coughs> but nope, nope, <laughs> not no. this week. He's he's not he's not asleep. And, uh, he's awake. Well, that is something. Overall, it's been a pretty eventful race. This one. The, Spills yeah. and thrills in the first couple of laps, and uh, it's been quite good to watch. Paul trying to catch back up to Damo. His last lap was quicker by a full second. So, Justin still has the quickest lap of the race. If Merv didn't have that um, sort of turn one incident, like ran a bit wide, he's mm. been pretty consistent. He has indeed. We're on the final up now, though. I'm not too sure as uh, Chris gets out of the way again. He's down another lap, unfortunately for him. Not too sure what the go is after the debacle of the first race, but I'm sure it should be 15 laps completed and over and done. As Justin comes down to the Final corner, and he's going to sweep the weekend, sweep the races. 
Fantastic job by Justin Bryce. He takes the win. And uh, not sure what the drivers have been distracted to do, but he's carrying on. So they must be continuing until the end of the session is called. Be good to see Bryce in the main game recently. Yeah, he's I, done a pretty good job. He's he's not not that bad, I must say. Yeah, be consistent. And Damo is second. There's 30 seconds left in the session here. If Brighty slowed down, but he's going to continue. So we'll get one more lap in. So Damo will finish second. Paul has uh, worked his way back up to third after that great start. Just couldn't make it count, unfortunately. Merv will be in fourth. Another solid points haul for him this weekend. Could have been better, though. We've got Rich in fifth. And Chris is off at the first corner. He's Got going again though. Another little incident for him. But uh, solid debut for him. I don't think he'll be too too disheartened at his overall lap pace. It's just the consistency. Justin is your winner. Session has finished. Damo full 20 seconds behind his run wide at the last corner. What's going to happen here? He's still going to hold on to that second. Paul will finish third. I'm just waiting for everyone to cross the line. And, uh... I think uh, that will be it for this weekend. It's been a pretty good result. Pretty good weekend overall. And I, I think uh, these guys, you know, there's a few good performers in here and they, they should do a good job in the main game series. Wait, wait and see what's yet to come with that idea. But I, I personally, I think it'd be good to run them in the same, same race events and uh, just have them as a separate category as such. Yeah, I think we might have to end up doing that if the numbers don't come up. The uh, Highway Patrol officer's having a <laughs> bit of a wild wild time out there. Doing a few doughies. I don't think there's anything else to add. Um, would you want to do interviews tonight, or...? Uh, I'm not too sure, possibly. We could see if any of the guys want to do it, but uh, I'm not worried either way. What we can do here, we'll take another short little break, and uh, we'll be back with the... Po we'll speak to a couple of the podium guys. I think we definitely have to speak to the race winner. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But um, we'll do you want to jump into TV? We'll be back very shortly and uh, interview some guys.
Alrighty, welcome back to the Down Under series, Super 2 on R Factor 2. Myself and River, we've got the clean sweeper of the weekend, Justin Bryce with us. Justin, congratulations, solid weekend, awesome result for you, and uh, possibly uh, catapult you back into the, or into the championship lead, I should say. Yeah, it was an awesome race, and it was a uh, nice, fun to come first. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. Um, you know, you 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 brained them on the strategy. I think the guys were using the um, super soft tyres, and and uh, you were on the softs, and just um, you know, although they were slightly bit slower, you were you know pulling the gap during the races, and and not having to worry about tyre wear as such as much. Yeah, I, I was still managing tyre wear. Um, a bit like the last uh, track we went to, a uh, bit of an issue for me. Um, I got down to like forty percent the second race there, but it was um, yeah, it was a fuel was a big issue in the first race. Uh, yeah. Yeah, oh, you you've you've uh, done really well, and um, you know, it uh, hopefully um, success to come. Yeah, absolutely. And the guys were really clean racing, so that made it a lot easier as well. Um, the guys in the second race uh, got out of the way, uh, last corner. Uh, it was very kind of them, but got to capitalise on these things. So, forward. I think the first race, uh, one of the guys stuck into the pits, and so that also helped me out too. But nice, good, clean racing. Yeah, no. That... If, if you keep That's racing right. like this, I think you'll be in the main game pretty shortly. Uh, that's what they're aiming for. Yep. Just got to keep why. plugging away. Indeed. And uh, we've got Paul Finlayson, who I believe took pole position in his first ever outing in the series. Congratulations, mate. It was a good lap, and you almost nearly lost it. Yeah, no, it was, uh, it was interesting. But, um, look, it was my first time out with, uh, with, with you guys, so, no, it was uh, really enjoyable. Uh, you, you, you did a pretty good job. You, you had a little couple of incidents though throughout the races and probably consistency's not where you'd like it to be yeah look that the first one with the yellow car he was already out of control so there was plenty of room i thought there was plenty of room but um the second one yeah look there, i thought there's room down i think it was justin anyway i let him go by I, like i was running out of tires so yeah my bad anything you would possibly like to improve upon a uh, ahead of the, the next race yeah yeah just uh just racing with people it's, it's different when you're racing um like ai all the time but um look definitely I'll, i've learned peeps especially fuel and that and actually it's good now i've got the vr headset so i can actually turn around and see where everyone is so yeah so my bad on that part but uh now looking forward to uh for, to more races oh well congratulations mate and if you've got uh qualifying pace like that I think you'll uh, be one to watch through the rest of the series and um, if it uh, yep. does it does end up getting to the point where um, you guys are put in the um, the main rounds it might be one to watch for a few uh, upsets yeah or well, I'll, uh, I'll take that thank you and uh, yeah no it's um, practice and stay smooth that's the that's the key so no, thanks very much for your encouragement cheers guys no worries. Thank you, Paul. And I think that just about wraps it up, River. We'll uh, User was moved out of your speak channel. to uh, most of these guys next week. And um, I think... Uh, um, I think we'll have a yarn to you because... Oh. Is Merv available? Where User is he? There he is. Channel. Hello, Merv. Merv. Hello to Merv. Are, you, are you there? Maybe he's gone off for a little toilet stop. Could be tea in the pits. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that uh, that wraps it up, River. And um, thank you for joining me in the com box. It's such short notice. We we made it work. Yeah, done which well. Which is good. Thank, I appreciate your help too. You done well in the commentary tonight. Oh, I, I do my best. But uh, join us for the next round. I believe is at Witten. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Next round will be at Winton for the Super 2 guys, unless uh, there is a, a change in schedule. But uh, 
join us then on behalf of myself and all the boys at the Down Under series. It's goodbye for now and thank you for watching.